the DJI Matrice 400 has landed. With heavy lift capabilities of up to 6 kilograms, 59 minutes of flight time and payload options, including the ability to deploy seven payloads at the same time. Today, Geeksvana is hands-on with the Matrice 400, including a sit-down with DJI Enterprise and details of key specifications. It has been a busy 2025 for DJI releases, and today it is the turn of DJI Enterprise and their new Matrice 400 drone. As you might expect, this direct replacement and evolution of the heavy lift Matrice series looks to deliver some key advancements in technology. That includes developments across hardware, software, and taking advantage of DJI's ever-evolving AI ecosystem. In this video, we'll be giving you the key specifications as well as sitting down with DJI Enterprise to have an informal chat about the new drone and comparing it to the Matrice 350. Let me know in the comments if you feel the advances we're discussing today are enough for you to make the upgrade from the 350. I'd really like to know feedback from existing users. The Matrice 400 is intended as a long endurance drone platform with advances in obstacle sensing, allowing the drone to avoid small obstacles down to a power line. The payload capability includes the payloads shown on screen right now, so the H30 series P1, L2, S1, etc. Specification highlights include a 59 minutes of flight time with the payload. Maximum flight speed and route speed are both 25 meters a second. The Matrice 400 is a true heavyweight with a 6 kilogram payload capacity that includes multiple gimbal connection points allowing for a deployment of up to seven payloads at the same time. Safety with these large drones is always a focus and the specs tell us that as well as the before mentioned power line level obstacle avoidance the transmission range is 40 kilometers for FCC and 20 kilometers CE. The M400 benefits from airborne relay video transmission and it is IP55 rated something we managed to test out firsthand thanks to the British weather during our day of trials. This is the first enterprise heavy drone to really benefit from the DJI AI ecosystem, including smart detection, real-time terrain follow, and intelligent flight modes, including cruise, fly to, smart track, and others. These new smart features also include a ship-based takeoff and landing capability. The Matrice 400 has just one battery this time. However, with the extra space that gives, as well as smart battery developments, you gain a capacity of just over 20,000 ma via a 13S battery with a 400 cycle life. The new top load battery is quick and smooth with hot swaps still possible within 45 seconds all thanks to an onboard small battery within the drone itself. This hot swap experience varies a little bit in that the controller actually takes a braking communication that you would expect when you take a battery out with everything coming back quickly should you replace the drained battery within the 45 second hot swap time. The drone retains satellite count allowing you to resume your missions quickly. It is worth mentioning here that the M400 has a new multi-function battery station. It supports up to three TB100 batteries and two of the WB37 batteries. On screen are some of the charging modes and times, including rapid mode giving 100% within 45 minutes. Let's talk payload again, and there is a single, dual, and third gimbal connector, providing that maximum weight of 6 kilograms, which is on that third gimbal connector. You might have noticed the LiDAR sensor on the front top of the M400. This is a horizontal rotating LiDAR, a perception sensor that can detect small obstacles down to a power line, allowing the drone to break or reroute safely. That's impressive, no matter how many times I say it, all the way down to a power line. There are also six directional radar and four full color low light fish eye sensors, providing color assisted visuals again for that safe operation. The Matrice 400 has a range of other safety features assisting you on mission, including arm lock detection, three prop emergency landing, battery lock sensor, ADSB in, and two anti-collision beacons for night flying. Interestingly, the popular loudspeaker and spotlight attachments benefit from a bump in numbers over 300, 350 models with brighter and louder light and speakers, but also some functions that are actually not available on the other models. The controller is a DJI RC Plus 2 Enterprise version, 
7.02 inch LCD touchscreen, 1400 nits brightness, high gain antenna array and IP rating of 54. Battery life is specced at 3.8 hours, which is bumped to seven hours with the WB37 external battery. Pretty impressive. Software compatibility out of the box includes Pilot 2, Flight Hub 2, DJI Terra and DJI Modify. Although we discussed this in our chat in a minute, a quick reminder that we'll soon actually have a special demo on the channel of the Flight Hub 2 package along with a Q&A. So if you're new here, do hit the subscribe button to see that. So let's head over to my chat with Ryan Swain from Midwich DJI Enterprise. I want to also give a special mention to Napoleon from DJI, who was on site for our trial of the M400 and provided a lot of source information and background. We're joined today by Ryan Swain of Midwich DJI Enterprise. Hi Ryan, thanks for joining us. Hello, good morning. In, a, in what is a, a, a really beautiful location a beautiful secret location because we're currently dealing with yet another dji uh, release for this year but this one's an exciting one uh, for you enterprise users it's the m400 and we've been having a play with this amazing piece of kit today um in, in actual fact as you can see from the b-roll that we're playing we've also been comparing it directly to the 350 and it's uh as per with these with these models it's it's another jump up isn't it it's another sea change in terms of capability it really is yeah it really is i mean the the, the difference between the m300 and m350 was quite minuscule was quite minor but this is a complete redesign from uh, exactly up. yeah exactly i mean th th there is obviously you know some of the things that i looked at first and i thought oh okay the one battery because you yeah. sort of think about in terms of any kind of issue or you know any kind of redundancy etc uh, but obviously batteries have moved forward so much as well um and i just love we'll show the b-roll of, of of actually putting the battery okay. in now in terms of actually on site and being able to get the drone in the air this new battery system is fantastic isn't it it's fantastic it's so easy so fast and efficient yeah it could be literally up and operational in in seconds as always which is frankly for the size of aircraft of the capability of the aircraft is is absolutely fantastic um, at the moment it's got the h30 on there. Correct, yeah, the H30T, so it'll support all the existing uh, M350, M300 payloads. So you've got the H30T series, the uh, the P1, L2, and then the new S1 and V1 speaker and spotlight as well. You get added benefits with with the payloads. So, for example, the, uh, the the new spotlight is coming because of the bigger battery that's on board now. So you've got up to just under a thousand more tower uh, battery pack on board. You get a much brighter spotlight uh, with the H30 uh, bolted on uh, and it operation now you get to ex uh, experience all the ai functionality that we've all come now used to with the matrice 4 series and matrice 4 family so Indeed. now it's now on board this is a heavy lift drone isn't it with the six it kilogram? is six kilogram uh, six, uh, six kilogram payload so yes it's, it's quite a lift so a big update for the two and a half from the m350 and we're going to be doing um, a special show at some point um in the next few weeks uh, where we're going to be showing some of the new software um and also in terms of the workflow of that as well which is the Flight Hub yeah. 2 is that? Uh, yeah, Flight Hub 2 and also releasing with the M400 at the same time is the new Flight Hub 2 on-premise. Wow. So the complete uh, complete uh, separation and be able to manage the whole uh, software solution. So benefit from all the Flight Hub 2 uh, benefits, but in your own environment, you know, on your own servers, in your own safety and security. Okay, excellent. Crikey, okay. That, that, that's obviously, you know, a very much a, um, a, a topic of the moment, <laughs> as we say. So, um, so, so in terms of data, etc., cetera, um, that gives you that complete control, basically, in terms of the safety security, reporting back compliance. to the mothership. So, yeah, Absolutely. that's excellent. Absolutely. And in terms of characteristics, physical characteristics, obviously it, it, it has that very much um, a Matrice look to it. Obviously we had the M30, the M4, and the Matrice 4, which have, have sort of gone more in this sort of Mavic looking style. Yeah. This is obviously very much back in the the matrice look that that we all we all know and love frankly exactly um, so at, at the top there what, what's what's the dome at uh, the top? so down the top is the new lidar sensor so we have now got lidar built in wow. for obstacle avoidance wow so the lidar sensor it works in complete unison with all the fish eyes all the other remote sensors that are on board to really maximize stability maximize safety and security when in uh, in operation in the air use case wise obviously with a six kilogram payload with um, extended flight times with you know being able to get into the air quickly we, we've kind of got used to seeing things like even emergency services using smaller drones yeah. um, but actually we've we've had the, the, this this particular this exact aircraft actually has been up with uh, Lincolnshire police drones has, hasn't has it and, been, um, yes. for a bit of uh, uh, use case testing yeah use case testing put it put it in the field it's not until you get it out in the field on location in it 
its intended environment that you can really learn from it. So yeah, you spend a bit of time with Lincolnshire Police, you better spend a bit of time with Network Rail uh, and other other good users for public safety, for security, for monitoring, and to really get some good, they've been giving us some great honest feedback about how it performs. Uh, and it's been just very, very positive, especially when it's been combined with the H30T. Okay, so obviously with the previous setup with the two batteries, hot yep. swap was something that uh, might concern people in terms of the single battery. Is, yeah. is, is that something you've come across? Uh, it is as far as the hot swap um, uh, capability, but yeah, happy to, happy to, announced that you can hot swap with the single battery okay so how this works is that there's a small battery on board the on board the drone itself uh, and as long as you have the drone on the ground remove the, the battery and install the new battery within 45 seconds the little built-in battery will keep all the systems live so it's literally on the ground as you'd expect wow quick swap over back up in the air back on task okay so bit. so 45 seconds 45 which is obviously seconds. a good amount of time especially when you know you're coming in to do that excellent okay well thank you very much for joining us today pleasure, and thanks. um we'll see you again soon on geek savannah that you will flight hub 2 um uh, workflow that you will thanks everyone